Hi, I hope you all keep listening to the end of this video. It's 12 to 30 minutes long, so it is a little bit long, um, but it contains words and uh, learnings from my life, which have massively helped me and taken me to a better place in my life. So by the same token, if you listen through to the end and you need to go to a better place, you might just pick up a word, a phrase, or a sentence that could massively help you. This is about the learning from my life. Now, I've learned that there are three things that determine how you live your life, your mind, your spirit and the law of attraction. And these three things I have learned are connected. You know, they interact with each other. But you always got to remember that it's the mind that comes first. Now, I like the Bible. There's certain things in the Bible that resonate with me that give me some clarity. Uh, chapter 23, verse 7 says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. And I found this to be entirely true. As a person thinks, so they become. And as you think, you will become. Because everything, and I mean everything, that comes to you in your life comes from your mind. You simply have to believe this because it is fact. Because, and these are my words, all that you are and all that you will ever be is a direct result of your thoughts and your dreams and the decisions that you make and the actions that you take because you simply are what you think. The human spirit, your spirit, I have learned, feeds on whatever it is fed, whether that is good or bad. And your spirit is a powerful thing that can either make you or break you. Now, your spirit reacts to what it is fed by the outside world or by you. And in much the same way, the law of attraction, which you just have to believe as a living entity that is affecting and acting on you right now and each and every day of your life, it reacts to what is asked of it. Because the law of attraction will send a person, it will send you whatever you think about, expect or demand from life. And the law of attraction, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't separate the good from the bad. You know, it won't just take the bad out and just send a person all that's good for them. There's no filter with the law of attraction. It will just send you what you are thinking about, asking for or demanding from life. So good or bad, whatever you are thinking about, the law of attraction, life itself, is going to send you. I have learned this. Um, the lesson to be learned here, therefore, is, and it's a huge lesson to learn, is to keep thinking good and positive thoughts all of the time, period. Now, you've seen this, I've seen this. When a, a person's spirit is fed belief and conviction, desire, when it's fed things like positivity can do and will do, that person can soar in their life. And that person will just keep getting up every time they get knocked down. They'll go through brick walls, they go around them or they just run through them. That person will exhibit determination, motivation and sheer will that just will amaze everybody around them. You know, they, they won't stop, they'll just keep going and they, they'll get back up after each and every setback. But when a person's spirit is fed the opposite, when it's fed negativity, fear, anxiety and can't do, that person's spirit through the medium of their mind can take that person, can take you to places that you would not want to go to, into dark places, you know, into worry, into depression, into giving up, into can't do, into a lesser life. You've seen this. We all know that a person's spirit, if taken to the negative, to the utmost negative, it can literally destroy a person. And the thing that I've learned that determines whether a person's spirit is positive or negative and how they travel through their life and what uh, they achieve, you know, the things that will determine how you travel through your life and what you achieve and how you live your life and whether you succeed or fail and whether you live happy or sad, it's your mind. That's the key. It's your mind. And never underestimate this fact, because if you do, you'll do it at your peril. This this stuff I've just said is serious stuff. Mind, body and spirit. Now, there is a much used phrase. Now, isn't it interesting that that saying itself starts with the mind, mind, body and spirit? Because, as I said, the mind has to come first. It always has to come first. And it's not been first in that sentence by, you know, just by chance. It's been put there by some learning in history. Also, it's been said throughout history and it's said in the Bible, in the beginning was the word. And you need to remember this. In the beginning was the word because there is significance in this because words have power and I'm talking about a real power because of the fact that your mind is made up of words.
You will know this old saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I've, I've realised that this is simply not true. Because words can destroy you. Words are more powerful than me or you could ever dare to imagine. It's also been said down through the years that the pen, words, are mightier than the sword. Why has that been said? Who learnt that? It's because many people have come to see the power of words if they've lived their lives. President Obama, I love that man. Don't understand politics at all, but I just love that man. He campaigned and won his presidency on the power of the word um, by continually chanting which is now a famous chant in his fired up, ready to go campaigns. Went like this. A word can change a room. And if a word can change a room, a room can change a city. And if a word can change a city, a city can change a state. And if a word can change a state, a state can change a country. And if a word can change a country, a country can change the world. Boom, there you have it. That's the power of a word. And guess what? He won. Because, as I said, it all starts with a word. Words have real power. And this brings us back to your mind, because your mind, as we said, is made up of words. Your mind is a huge and complex living entity. And your mind is where your real power lies. The words that are in your mind, that are in your head, determines how you will live your life, whether you be success or failure, whether you be happy or sad. Let me say this very clearly to you, real learning. Your life will be made or broken by the words that you allow to enter or that you yourself put into your mind. Learn this, take it in, work on it, because I bear witness to these words that they speak the truth. Here's another version of Six and Stones by the American singer Demi Lovato. Now, she was bullied at school and she wrote this in her uh, book. Sticks and stones may break her bones, but, but names may make her want to kill herself. Because that's the power that words can have over us. Here's another version of Sticks and Stones. My version of Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones may break my bones, but the words I say to others and the words I say to myself may stay around and haunt me forever because that's the power of words words can make us sore or words can make us die so just be very careful with the words that you say to others and above all above everything make sure that you take care in the words that you're saying to yourself on a daily basis now you will know that you constantly have a voice in your head that talks to you every minute of every day you debate with this um, voice, you make decisions with this voice. Now, you will know that this voice can be your best friend, your motivator, your mentor, or it can be your enemy, your bully, and it can take you down roads that you truly will regret taking. And the deciding factor in all of this, as you know, the deciding factor in whether you have a mentor or a tormentor, see what I said there? The deciding factor in whether you have a mentor or a tormentor inside your head, and whether you have a life that's good or bad, is control. The deciding factor is your self-control. So ask yourself, who's in control in your mind right now? Ask yourself, who's in control here? You or the voice? Because it's critical that you have the control, that you filter out the negative, the fear, the worry, and that you keep that inner voice, your words, your mind positive. If you do this, your mind, sorry, start again. If you do not do this, if you do not keep control, your mind, your voice, which will influence your spirit, will succumb to the negativity that life is constantly throwing at you. And sometimes it only takes one negative word. Sometimes that's all it can take to set off a catastrophic chain of events in your life. Because you'll start expecting ne negative things to come your way. And because you start expecting negative things to come your way, you start asking and visualising negative things to come your way, even if you're doing it subconsciously. And because of the way that the law of attraction works, you'll just send them those things to you anyway in a self-fulfilling prophecy. So here's some key things that you can do to keep your thoughts in your head positive. Stay away from negative people at all costs. Don't talk to them, don't go near them, shun them. Stay away from the dream busters who come along to rain on your parade. Stay away from the doom mongers. You know, those can't doers, the oh, it won't workers. Remember and act on this little saying. I love this little saying. 
Winners hang with winners and losers hang with losers. If you like the downtrodden, hang with the downtrodden. So hang with the winners. Remove yourself from the losers in your life as quickly as you can before they have the chance to infect you with their toxic thoughts of gloom and bring you down. And they'll do that if you are not careful. And another thing that you can do is to set up the culture in you to flip all the negativity that comes your way because there is always a positive in a negative if you look for it. So always look for the positive in the negative, flip it. Now, it might only take one conversation with one person who might just say one negative word to you to make you quit on your dream, to make you quit on your career path, to make you quit on your idea. Because like the weeds that can grow in a garden who don't need any special help to grow, they don't need special soil or nutrients or light, they can just grow in the cracks in the pavement, if you like. And if they're left unattended, they can take over a garden and destroy all the positive, pretty plants that actually do need attention. And just like those weeds that can grow in a garden, a negative word entering your head, if it's left to its own devices, will act in the same way. It will grow and it will manifest. It will manifest in your head and it will start to dominate, to cancel out and to destroy any positive thoughts any positivity in your head until you are left as an empty shell of a person and we've all seen we all know about these people the lesson here in this video is three things your mind your spirit and the law of attraction will determine how you live your life i have learned this and i'm sharing it with you and the key to success is to control your mind to keep it healthy to keep it open and positive because it influences your spirit which in turn influences your outlook which in turn will determine because of the way it works what the law of attraction will send to you so you need to always remember what you put out into life you will get back what you ask for demand or expect from life life will send to you because all that you are and all that you will ever be is a direct result of your thoughts and your dreams, of the decisions that you make and the actions that you take. So be careful. Be careful of the thoughts that you allow to come in your head. Always keep it positive and always go out into life and to expect, demand your success, your greatness, your happiness. And then you will find that one way or another, it will come to you. I've learned that.